Hi, this is Dr. Nick. I'm the Incrementalist here with Incremental Insights for better business, better health. I'm here with John Morton. He's the Chief Medical Officer for Butterfly. John, thanks for joining me. It's my pleasure. So, Butterfly, what is it? Butterfly is the world's first ultrasound on the chip, and it allows us, all other ultrasound systems, use piezoelectric crystals. And because of that, you need different configurations, linear phase and curved array probes, to scan different parts of the body. Butterfly put ultrasound on a silicon chip. We have almost 9,000 individual imaging elements that are digitally controlled, so we can recreate all of those form factors and all of those frequencies so you can scan the entire body with one probe. And we've been able to leverage that silicon industry to have a $2,000 device that's now a complete ultrasound system. We attach that to a smartphone, and in your pocket now, carries the answers of what's going on inside your body. So, uh, let's be frank, this is pretty cool. Um, you know, I, I come at this as an old physician. The idea of ultrasound was something that you ordered, you were lucky if you got it, you didn't always get it, you had to justify mm -hmm. it. Now you're saying that we can essentially do this anytime, anywhere, that you've got a, a, a mobile phone, plug in. What does that do to the practice of medicine? Well, just think about the way we practice historically. We did a history and physical, and then we stopped to make a decision. Do I have enough information now to say, okay, you have X, and I'll give you some antibiotics, or I'll... But or most often, in fact, almost 80% of the time when there's a diagnostic dilemma, it's simple imaging that answers that question. That introduces delay. Mm. So now we got to order a test, and either the patient goes, or you wait for a tech to come, and I'm waiting. As a physician, as a patient, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know how to make the right decision. Now, instead of ordering a test, I pull it out of my pocket. Instead of waiting for an answer, it's in my hand. And now I make really good clinical decisions with the right information instantly. And you remember, does anybody like waiting in an emergency room or a doctor's office? Nobody likes waiting. And we don't either. No. And let's be clear, you know, certainly my recollection of even reading ultrasounds, and I know it's gotten a lot better, but actually performing them, that's not an easy task. What kind of learning curve is there for people, you know, if, if you gave me one, how quickly do you think I'd be able to absorb that and start using it? I think historically, particularly as physicians, we know we think of, oh, I need to learn everything about the heart, or I learn everything about the mm -hmm. liver, or I need to learn everything about ultrasound. We've actually taken and chopped it up into little bite-sized pieces. So let me teach you just, for instance, about lung. I can teach you how to scan the lung literally within an hour or two, and you can be good at it. And you're going to answer a very simple question. Are there bee lines in that lung image that's consistent with heart failure? Right. So if we actually focus people on learning very specific, simple tasks first, and then build on that, you can become competent very quickly. It takes time to be good at everything, right. but focus things you can learn quickly, and you learn to use them and expand on your knowledge. So how long have you been using it? So Butterfly now has been, I've been at Butterfly for five years. Right. So we've been out on the marketplace for now four years, and we've seen a device to probe all over the world, from the most remote regions of Africa, right to the most advanced emergency rooms, to up in space, to on the sidelines. Wait, side there's lines. a butterfly in There's space? a butterfly oh, up I on space on the that. space so that's station. Really that's cool. right. <laughs> We've actually flown on the last couple of space missions. Inspiration4, where the civilians were up there, yeah. they were testing butterfly, and the next one that's going up, using butterfly again. Sidelines of major sports franchises are using butterflies. Oh, I bet. Ambulances, helicopters, anywhere you can imagine that you, an image could add to the information, that's where Butterfly is. So, I, I mean, aside from obviously the context of underserved populations where, you know, accessibility is a huge issue, you're now making that accessible. Uh, there's obviously aspects of cost, but, you know, hopefully that's coming down, do you think, over time? Yeah, but, you know, you think about it today, we're a fraction of the cost that everybody's paying right now. At $2,000, it becomes a personal device, and I think that's the change. All other systems, you're talking about ten, twenty-five, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. Now we've priced this up so as a doctor, it becomes your individual product. It's yours. It's my new stethoscope. It doesn't do the same thing as the stethoscope. It does more. Instead of listening and guessing, now you look and know. So I, this might be the perfect gift for a uh, medical student that's just about to graduate from medical school. You know, there's somebody I know <laughs> who actually has a daughter graduating from a very prestigious medical school who could very much use this device if she's going into emergency medicine. You wouldn't happen to know anybody like that, would I, you? I, I got to think about it, but I'm, I, I may well do. That would be kind of neat. I, um, I think we'll give you a card so you can purchase that for. In fact, I may call her and tell her it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be very exciting. So, as you think about it, I mean, you've been at this for a period of time, obviously huge potential. Um, I like the way that you sliced it down into you know, small segments that people can learn. There's obviously huge opportunity. What else are you thinking about? What's coming? 
Well, I think the biggest thing for me and, and part of what I'm most passionate about, and that is the journey into the home. Home care wow. has be become, excuse me, a very big part of where we deliver care. And so if we're sending people to the home, we have to be able to have that imaging power right. to manage them. And so now we're home care companies are taking the probe into the home. The next generation of us, and we're working on those studies now, is the patient scanning themselves. So instead of pulling a thermometer or a glucose meter out of the cabinet, one day you're going to be forming a butterfly. And if you have congestive heart failure, as an example, yeah. and you don't want to go to the ED or the hospital, I'm going to scan myself, send that image to the doctor. The doctor can prescribe medication and keep me home. Because as much as we love to see patients, you don't really love yeah, to see us. And they, and they want to stay in their home as they much do. as possible. That's very cool. Fantastic. Well, listen, thank you for joining me today. Uh, it's been a real pleasure. Very excited about the potential, that remote monitoring in home, and also the fulfilling of a, a dream, I think, for many clinicians to be able to do this. It Thanks is. for being here. And we're really excited about your daughter being able to fill that same dream. This is Dr. Nick, I'm the Incrementalist here with Incremental Insights for better business, better health.